Stamping with Carol Reed.com. Today I wanted to show you a quick fun card that I made with the Bird Banter stamp set. This cute little stamp set is available in the Occasions catalog and it's only $17. And it's a super cute little set that has all these fun little birds and lots of different sentiments to go along with them. And I just want to show you a quick card I made today using them. I cut my white piece out using the largest of the square stitched framelits. So I'm going to take some Memento ink and I'm going to ink up my little birds. I'm going to kind of center them. And then I did a cute little branch that they're sitting on. And so I just loaded that up. Now this guy comes in a different shape, like he's all kind of wompty like that. And that didn't really work for what I was doing. So I just liked, the love the fact that the polymers, you can just kind of straighten it out and make it suit your needs a little bit better. I love that part about these polymers. So I'm just gonna stamp that branch in there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I'm done with that. The next uh, thing that I'm going to stamp is I have a piece of pink pirouette and I'm going to use some Calypso Coral ink. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment right there. And then on this end, I'm just going to flag that in. So let me get that ink cut out of the way. I'm going to use the Banner Triple Punch. I'm just going to flip it over and peek my end through. Line it up where I want it. There, now I have a cute little flag. So to dress up the flag, I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White Baker's Twine. And it's about, oh, I don't know, 12 inches or so. I always leave myself a little extra and set that aside. Now I'm going to come back to my stamped image. Now the reason I waited is um, I'm going to be using the Stampin' Blends alcohol markers today and after you stamp with the Memento ink, which is the ink that you should be using when you do this, um, you need to make sure that it dries really good because if it doesn't dry and you go to start laying down color, um, it can kind of smear the black and you don't want to have that happen. So you just kind of let it dry as best you can. So I usually stamp it first and then go maybe do some of the other elements on my card and then come back to it. So now I'm just going to color in my little birds. And I'm about out of this pink pirouette ink. I have used this little guy a lot and I think I need to get a new one. But then I'm going to come in, that's the light, the pink pirouette light. I'm going to use the pink pirouette dark now and I'm just going to add a little darker um, color onto his back like so and probably down his tail like that. Now, I am not an expert at using these Stampin' Blends, um, but I really like the result that I get from coloring with them. For somebody like me that I'm not like super um, artsy or anything like that, and this medium was um, completely new to me. So um, it is very forgiving in that aspect. So now I'm gonna use a Daffodil Delight Light. And I'm just going to give this other bird an all over color. Just laying that down, just to give him a nice little base. Now I'm going to come in with the light Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to fill him in a little bit. Like I said, I am not artsy at all. So now to, to spread that around a little, I'm gonna come back with the Daffodil Light and just go over it, just to kind of blend those colors a little bit. Just 
like that. Now that'll dry. And then I'm going to do his beak as well in the dark daffodil delight. Just a touch of color. Nothing too hard. This shouldn't take you very long at all. It's taking me longer because I'm talking about it. But it's easy to just go in and add a little bit more color. This is the Old Olive Light. And I'm just going to add a touch of color there. Just to give the idea. Okay, that's it. That's all the, all the coloring that I'm going to do. So when I'm done... Let that dry just a little bit. You want to see and look on the back, and you can tell on the back how much ink you got on there. If you got enough ink on there, it's going to soak through the back, and, and that's a good thing. You want that. Uh, always make sure that you have a mat underneath you. So my finished card, isn't it cute? This little bird banter set is adorable. Let me show you this set again. There's so many different things. There's birthday, you can do the balloon, you can do a little birthday hat, all kinds of fun uh, occasions and things that you could use it for. So now a new thing, and this is one of the cards that go with it, is if you go and look on my blog at stampinwithcarolreed.com, I have a tab on there for PDFs. And I have made up four different PDFs that go with this set that has supplies and instructions step by step and a color picture of the finished product and um, you can get those you can order those on my blog you can get just the PDF just the instructions or you can purchase it with the kit and the kit comes with all of your card stocks um, and supplies and everything that you need to make the cards all you need to do is have the stamp set so um, check it out if it's something that interests you. Um, it's just kind of a new thing that I'm trying out. So that's my card for today. Um, hope you've enjoyed this look. You can subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And uh, also you can subscribe to my uh, website as well and you'll get my daily blog posts. So hope this has helped you a little bit. Um, have a great day. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.